Hello everyone, it's me Kinsley Santers and of course we are back in Kathy's Southern Kitchen because it's October and you know what that means. That means it is beef month here in Alabama. Kathy, thank you so much for having us today back in your kitchen, getting us ready for beef month. What are we whipping up today? We're whipping up a delicious steak and arugula sandwich. Hey, mm. tailgating is really strong right now. So this is perfect for tailgating. It's perfect for just a, a beefed up weeknight meal. And it's super easy to prepare. I've got some flank steak and it is... So easy, y'all. I'm just putting a little bit of seasoning. You can use SP, salt and pepper, or you can use your favorite steak seasoning. As, as you can see over here, I have got my cast iron skillet smoking hot. Ready to go. So flank steak needs to be cooked at a high temperature really fast to get those nice tender pieces like we have here. And we're going to sear this dry, Kinsley, and down this goes. We're gonna get a nice sear on both sides, about two to three minutes on each side to get a good medium rare. And listen to that sizzle, my mouth is watering. Yes, that's what it's all about. I call it applause. Just feels like it's clapping for you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Beef Month. Well, this is our 60th anniversary for Beef Month. Wow, 60 years. Yes, and I'll tell you, Kinsley, it's come a long way. The first campaign for Beef It's What's For Dinner here in Alabama were bumper stickers. Oh, wow. Yes, and so it's progressed over the years. My grandfather, Jim Adams, had a huge part in helping to create October Beef Month here in Alabama. They signed the proclamation with the governor and our Alabama Cattlemen's president is there. And so it's really a big deal. How has it evolved over the years? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's just continued to get bigger and better. And of course, we've got more people involved and it's just, it's just been, a sight to behold. I know that the men and women that created October Beef Month back in 1964 would be so proud of where it's come today. Wow, who would have thought? Here we are 60 years later and we're still celebrating this beautiful beef. And you are the beef influencer, correct? I am. Tell I us am. about that. Well, I love being an influencer for our Alabama Cattlemen's Association and beef, it's what's for dinner. And I go around the state and just promote this beautiful product. And really what I'm promoting, Kinsley, are our Alabama beef producers. We have so many farmers here in our own community in the Wiregrass. And so I'm helping shine the spotlight on them. And we are so thankful for our Alabama farmers and our farmers across the nation. And of course, Absolutely. our Wiregrass farmers as well. Absolutely. And look at this beautiful color. Look at this. Color is flavor with beef. You always want to just get, you know, that little dark touch, like that hair. You just want that good color. It's looking perfect to me. It is. And of course, if you want a good medium rare, you're gonna cook it to about 135, medium to 140. And you have got the perfect steak. Now, what you're gonna need to do is let this sit. Once you take it off the heat, then you are going to place a piece of tin foil over the top and just let it rest. That's so important. It's had a long day. It needs to rest. <laughs> yes, agreed, agreed. And this one I cooked earlier and look at that. Isn't that looks that fantastic. That looks fantastic. It absolutely does. And the thing about this is keeping it nice and tender with your slices. So Kinsley, I am going to cut this in half. So now we gotta get the perfect cut. That's exactly right. Now with flank steak, you wanna cut against the grain and the easiest way to do that is go ahead and make a cut through the middle. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow. And then I'm turning it to the side. You wanna angle your knife and just cut right in and look at that. If you cut it with the grain, you're gonna get a tough 
piece of beef. Good but to it know. Gets the grain, it's nice and tender. Now it's my favorite part. The time to decorate. You got it. Now I have toasted some bread. I've just buttered it and put it under the broiler and got it nice and toasty. This is that crunchy French bread. And this is going right on. I've made a beautiful sauce to go with this, and you can go on WTVY's website to get that recipe. Y'all, it is so, so good. This is looking amazing. Yes, we're just layering this beef right on. We don't want to miss any of it. No beef left behind. No, exactly. Now we've got the arugula. Perfect. The arugula gives it just a nice little peppery, fresh taste and it works perfect with this mustard and we're just putting that right on top and Kinsley I cannot bring you into my kitchen without giving you some jalapenos. Jalapenos. You know I gotta have my jalapenos and those are the fresh cut jalapenos my favorite. <laughs> well I can't leave that out. Now we're just gonna top this and I've got my knife and you can see that we've already got one of these here. There we go, it doesn't this. This is gonna have your tailgate being the best tailgate in town. I have a feeling. Absolutely. Just a gourmet type tailgate. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna think you're just a little fancy when you serve this. I love that. The easier, the better, the fancier it looks, also the better for my guests at home. That. Wow, this yes. looks so delicious. Guys, and look. We've got a little bit of this mustard. I'll just bring this out. So oh yeah, know. I've got to have some of that. So do you usually dip it? You do. Now okay. you can actually put this on your bread or you can dip it. I prefer to dip it. It's I think a, I'm a dipper. Yeah, it's got a little bit of horseradish in it. So Perfect. it's got some spice. Well, I gotta I, get my jalapenos. Oh yeah. I know can't, I can't forget these. That. Let's see, how many should I get this time? How brave are you, Kinsley? I'm gonna go with four. I think four will fit perfectly on this little slider. Wow. Well, Kinsley, here we go. Here we go. Let's Time see. for the ultimate taste test. I'm gonna dip just a little bit right there. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow. This is so good. Oh my goodness, I'm at a loss of words. It's seasoned perfectly, seared to perfection. Kathy, you outdid yourself today. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what, beef makes it easy. It's truly the star of the show. And beef, it's what's for dinner. That's right. 